My first name is Clark, and you can call me that if you want to. Um, how many of you guys go to the dentist? No. Right? And why do we go to the dentist? To keep our teeth healthy. To keep our teeth healthy. Yeah. And what do you have to do when you're not at the dentist to help you keep them healthy? Brush your teeth. Brush your teeth. What else do you have to do with your teeth? Your teeth? You have to floss your teeth. And what else? Mouth wash. Mouth wash. Those are all good things. Any other thing you're supposed to do with our teeth? Mm -hmm. Don't eat a lot of junk food. Good. Very good. That's even more prevention. Take good care of them so I don't get cavities. What, what, what I do, instead of looking at your teeth, is I look at your spine. Ah. And so your spine has a whole bunch of different bones in it. And we check for different things too. And just like we check to see if we have cavities, I check to see if you have a thing called a subluxation. Can you say that word? Subluxation. Really good. And what a subluxation does is it moves the bone out of place where it's not supposed to be. And that causes some achiness and some pain sometimes. Mm -hmm. And then it puts pressure on a nerve, which causes troubles with communication from our brain down to our body, which makes us move. Okay, so those are the things I look for. And we also look for posture. So we look to see how well your spine is sitting. So is this a good posture? No. No? When we sit, should we sit like this? No. No, we should sit up nice and straight, right? And when we are on our iPads and phones, are you guys on those things? Yeah. Oh, iPod. We want to keep them up. Neck. Yes, you get a text snag. Look at you. So what happens is we look down too much, and that causes neck That's pain like and problems too. So we work with our posture, just like brushing our teeth, so that way we don't have as many subluxations or we don't have as many cavities, right? Pretty cool? The spine is your backbone, like you said. and Everything comes off of that. So we have to take good care of our spines, just like we do our eyes and our teeth and the rest of our body. So I'm going to read a little book, and the book is called Sammy... The centipede goes to the chiropractor. Anybody read this book? No. Yeah. No, it's supposed to be a first for everybody. Mm. All right, so here we go with the book. When we're all done, I'm going to have a little exercise where we all get to have some fun. And um, we'll go through that in just a little bit. But let's get through the book first. All right, so hi. I'm Sammy the centipede, and I'm going to tell you what it's like to visit a chiropractor. I'm Sammy the centipede. I'm feeling very fine. A visit to my chiropractor keeps my spine in line. It's a lining book. I thought so too, but it doesn't the whole way. I love to climb. One day, I was inching my way up to my favorite tree. I almost reached the place I wanted to be, but I had to stretch a little too far with my front legs. Down I went and hit the ground with a thud. Ooh. It looked like a train that had gone off the track. I straightened myself out and slowly stood back up. And I was a little sore, but I thought I would be okay. Later that day, I was riding my bicycle, built for 15 pairs of legs. I was having a wonderful ride and enjoying the beautiful day. And suddenly, I tried to go around the corner too quick and I lost control of the steering and my legs could not work the pedals. I ended up in a heap. And even though I was wearing a helmet, I had a headache. And my legs were sore and my stomach didn't feel that well either. He's falling down too much, isn't he? Yeah. I knew this would be a great time to call my friend the chiropractor for an appointment. And even though taking medicine sometimes makes me feel better, it doesn't always take care of the real reason. My chiropractor will give me a checkup that is different from the one I get from other kinds of doctors. He will do a checkup of my spine. You have a spine that protects your nerve system. Your brain sends messages to different parts of your body by using this nerve system. It works like a computer inside your body. The brain has helpers called the spinal cord and nerves. You guys ever heard of those words? No. No? Yeah. I'm part of the knob. Yeah? Not the, Not the so. spinal cord? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> There's a long string of bones inside that starts at the top, right under your head, and goes all the way down your back, and they call that your 
spine. So here's a picture of our spine, and here's a real spine. Uh, you can feel the bumps with your hands, just like you guys said. You can feel them back there. If you put your hands in the middle of your back, <laughs> all of these bones, you move. when you move, you can feel them as well. But they have to move so they can protect your nerves. Each bone has a hole where the nerve goes through the rest to the rest of your body. Can you see the different sections of my body? You have different bones that make up your spine. So just like here, you have all these different bones, just like uh, you guys have seen uh, railroad cars before, right? Yeah. Right? So it's almost like up here you have the locomotive, and each one of these is a different rail car, right? And in between those rail cars, you have these things called nerves, and that's what it has to protect. Okay? It doesn't look like nerves. Well, these really are nerves. Doesn't. It gives me nerves. Yeah. <laughs> I get it. <laughs> you have seven C bones, and C bones stand for cervical. Those are up here in your neck. Oh, okay. hey, I pulled go the muscle of my neck a couple times. We have twelve T bones. T bones are the bones right here in the middle part of our back. There's twelve of them, and we have five L bones. Okay, and the L bones are lumbars. They're one, two, three, four, five. Okay, so how many C bones do you remember? 12. C bones are seven. Seven, seven C bones. How many T bones? Five. Twelve T bones. And how many L bones? Five. Five. How many C bones? Seven. Seven. How many T bones? Five. How many L bones? Twelve. L bones? Five. Five. Good job. Seven, twelve, five. The C bones, also known as cervical, protect the nerves that control the upper parts of our body, like our head, our neck, and our arms. The T-bones are in the middle, and the T-bones protect the nerves that control things like our heart, our lungs, and our stomach. The L-bones, which are at the lower part of the body, they protect the nerves that help control your bladder, your legs, and your feet. Your sacrum is at the very bottom of your spine, and it's a group of bones that forms a triangle that you sit on. So here's, here's like the tailbone, yep, the sacrum. Each of the 24 bones in your spine were all made to move together in a certain way. And when you fall and twist your body, your spinal bones move out of the right place. And they will not be able to move like they should. Your spine is not well when this happens, and your body may become sick. Yeah, you can't see the pictures, can you? Or will not work as well as it could. Your friend, the chiropractor, can give you an adjustment of your spine, and the adjustment helps your bones back into the right place. Then they will be able to help your every part of your body feel at its best. You may do some checks that will be like playing a game of Simon Says. Your chiropractor may tell you to touch your toes, twist, or raise your legs up and down like a marching soldier. Another fun the uh, way your chiropractor may have to do checks is to have you climb aboard a padded table or a bench. And he or she may have you lie face down. Don't worry, there's a place for your nose. Good. Doing these checks is also a lot like playing Simon Says. Sounds like fun, doesn't it? Sound like fun? Yeah. yeah. I play Simon Says. The fun. chiropractor will measure your legs after each of these checks to see if they are the same length. That way, if one, that is one way he or she will know if you need an adjustment. If you need one, your chiropractor will give you an adjustment to put your spine back in line so they can work the best for you. An adjustment is given by a chiropractor like this. He or she will push down on different parts of your back with their hands and adjust your spine. Your chiropractor will pick the right way to help your spine work better. An adjustment doesn't take long. Chiropractic adjustments sometimes feel like a little push on your back and once in a while you may feel a little bit of soreness or a short time when you have an adjustment. This feels like you just exercise. But best of all, your friend the chiropractor does not give shots or icky taste in medicine to help your body heal. You should not play hard for a couple hours afterwards. <laughs> then you'll be feeling great. <coughs> I've had a fun visit with you today. And just a reminder, a visit to your chiropractor will keep your spine in line 
After an adjustment, you'll be feeling very fine. Your friend, Sammy, the centipede.